video right now and the audio that you're hearing is coming from the built-in microphone on my phone. It sounds fine, but I think we can do better. That's why I got the Boya MM1 shotgun microphone this price. It comes with this stuff and it sounds like what you're hearing right now. I have it connected to my phone on a mount with a cold shoe. When it's a windy day like this one, you can put this dead cat on it to make the audio bearable. But if you want to be, I don't know, super far away, far away from the camera, it's not gonna sound so good. That's why I got the Boya M1 lavalier mic for this price. It comes with this stuff. And it sounds like what you're hearing right now. But this time, I have the mic connected to a separate phone. This mic also comes with protection against the wind and even plosives. You can hear me properly even if I'm far away, right? Here are some quick audio comparisons. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So yeah, overall, I think these mics provide a pretty good audio quality for the price. They also provide you a lot more flexibility when recording audio in different scenarios. Just use your imagination. If you want a more technical analysis of these microphones, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to look elsewhere. Even so, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.